Can you come here, feel it? What do you feel out of here? That's the first part of the assessment. I think the track is a little bit higher. So that is the a very common thing that you will feel in every patient. So higher is not the concern, but the posture. If you see, even his posture, if you see, this is so much tighter. This is what you see is out. Yes. Yeah. This is he's putting all the weight on this side. His glutes are higher. This there's a constant swelling yes. outside. So please understand this is his spine. So this is the way he is, you know, he curvature is right here. Yes. So if this moves a little out, then you get this shape. Yes. So he's somewhere putting more weight like this. And this is under continuous pressure and this is the spinal cord which has to be which is prevented by what you press so when you feel it this is exactly the same location now you feel what you are feeling these two notches here makes the joint that you feel here yes that is called as SI joint yes where the vertebras and the sacroiliac joint just feels the nodules or a lot of people just talks about that we have a knot here or we feel too much of pain just around here so these so you have to start understanding what you feel it use all your yeah this is the part yes oh yes i feel a knot in it so this is not the knot this is the oh that's just oh, okay yes si joint sacroiliac joint right so this is what we see and you know calculate sacroiliac this is sacrum and this is the iliac body so this is what you feel it yes yes, yes this is yes, the part yes, yes. this part you feel it okay. yeah so this is what you have felt uh, and calculating the leg length and this is a very curious thing you know everybody knows it mm. uh, this is maybe your first year job so when you're finally you don't talk about those so majorly you have to just feel where is the tightness so you just don't go to the most tightest part when you start examining but you assess which is the area where is the maximum tightness and which is the area in the same uh, you know yes. where the tightness is less so if you feel you can do it on a less tighter part first you can do that there's no fixed thumb rule principle okay so when the lighter part will open up it will automatically give some uh, relaxation to the other area you know if somebody is more experienced he'll just try and uh, we do it on the most tightest part and this case just opened up so you can try and uh, show me how would you like to do so whenever you feel any tighter part you fully put the vertical force and then slightly move it outward and then press it try um, same place any, any, any area that you want to do it so if I want to press so you have to use the th uh, this palm yes. on the, and on that area. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's like this. No, it doesn't or matter. This. It's how how do you feel? And it? I do it. I have to keep this straight. Yes. And then I press it. Yeah. But you have to move the the straight the joints first. Move it outward. Okay. Yeah. Like this. Put then pressure. Uh, yeah. Turn it a little bit. Yeah. And then I press. Yes. Okay. So, but you, you don't do it. This is the scapula. Yeah. You don't do it here, you know. Oh, okay. Even if you have to do it, you have the pressure should be inside then. You know, like this, this part. And firstly, you try and see how much the vertebrae are mobile, right? If there is any mobility, then only you will try. If there's no mobility, there's, there's no point. Mm. Right, so, so, so here, uh, no. You can do it every part. Yes. But, but you have to just... Understand where are you putting the pressure? Mm -hmm. Can you feel the pressures around the articulating joints or no? You can do it in this part also. I've done these two. You can try on these. Use your thumb. So then, yeah. 
there is no mobility. This is a fixed rigid part of the spine. Yes. So, so you always do it on the this area. Yes. Yeah, so I put my hand yeah. like this. Yeah. And then I press a little. Yes. Like always this. On, on. Try to be straight. Yes. And then press. Yes. Okay, but then it never pops. It pops. I, I popped for oh, okay. all the joints that I pressed. Yeah. Like straight. If you just straight. Yeah. And then move. Yeah. And so move. And then you come. Yes. So yes. for easy lighter bones, you can feel it that you can pop it in the beginning. For a harder muscles, look, I'm mostly trying to uh, put majority of my body weight. That also gives me a strength which is more controlled. Yes. If I try and use a lot of my hand movements, yes. my joints will also get start running out. Yes, yes, I understand. Yeah. Easy. Relax. Slow okay. Okay. These two things open up next. I'll teach you is the neck. Uh, see the lecture? See that. Teach you. So, uh, a lot of people like to do is this hides an adjustable head. I can go down. Sorry, no, okay. I can go down. I can go up. Wherever I feel the angle is more comfortable. You know, yes. so in beginning you should always try and do is the neutral axis, or you can always also take the neck a little backward, so the neck gets longer. If you pull this upward, and the neck it is, is now shorter, shorter yes. so then now it will be difficult for you. You won't be able to lock the joints. So just bring the neck down. Now the neck is longer, and first thing is not to try and open or make joints making the noise. First is to understand how to feel and palpate. So this is the y-axis. This is the x-axis when the joints moves into this direction. And there's one z-axis. So you move the neck in y-axis and then you put the pressure in the z-axis. Yes. Then these joints will open up. So a lot of people just try, and this is one way of doing it, a lot of people do it in the prone position also in a upside down position oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, then you don't achieve all the joints opening yes. because neck will always have a restriction you should always be trying to open up in the straight position the prone position is always easier turn to alternate neck okay. so for that you would yes now this is also a short time yeah. yeah. So what they do is they don't put any pressure here, but because his neck is already in a tighter position, his shoulder is higher. Yes. Half inch here, so. Now let just try and do is this, and this side is even more tighter for him. Look, his shoulder. Yes. It's up. Yeah. Straight. So show me how would you move the neck. Come. Yes. Okay. Thank you. No, but you have to put your hands like this. This hand should not be back. This hand should be here. Yes. And this is where you have to feel the joints where you are have to do the adjustment with this hand. Yes, okay. Feel the joints and use your left hand to support the neck. And where do I put the left hand? Yeah. This is my grip, you are learning my grip. <laughs> okay, this your yes. grip. And then? And then, okay. come, come here. Yes. Then you slightly use this. Okay. You, you press this one down and yeah. this one, you pull a little yeah. bit up. Yes. Okay. I may not be pulling up, but yes. you can try to pull up okay. in the beginning. But because my movements are just very smooth, I just do it like this, only this. I have to feel that now the joints are locked. Oh. Here it is, here it is, here it is absolutely free. The moment I go this point, I can feel the neck is now locked. Yes. You can't open up the joint in this range. You have to go to the maximum range. Yeah, but for me, it's very. Uh... It feels unnatural to hold it like that, I think. 
So, and until you develop your own grip, you yes. have to learn it the way your teacher is yes, teaching. Yes, of course. Uh, gradually, uh, gradually, you will learn it more. Yeah. So, again, yeah. uh, this one is down. This right hand, because yes, if you are right righty, you need to use your dominant hand yes. to feel the joints. So, here. I, I can hands. open this neck in 10 parts. Yes. I can show you how gradually I can open every joint. So your right hand will take, keep telling you yes. which, but if you want to dominate your left hand, you have to use your left hand, you know, and then you would use your left hand, whichever part, you know, use this to feel the joints. And I'm only using this to use the pressure. But you, okay, now you're standing there because you're showing me. Yes. But you always stand here. Yes. <laughs> I, I usually don't stand there. Yes. I'm always on the side. <laughs> if I'm doing, yes. I'll be right here yes. or I'll be there. Okay. So because probably my wrist has changed because we didn't have the space here. Mm. Now whatever I adjust. Yes, okay. Yeah. But again, so this hand comes here. You can choose if you want to use that hand. Yes. So you have to understand which hand should be doing the palpitation work. Yes. Okay, I want to try with the left hand. Yes. So the left hand co comes here. Yes. Now I can feel here. Yes. But I with the, the right hand I have to uh, try to. Don't raise the head. Okay. Uh, Keep the head down. as lower and yes. feel whether it is tight. The joints are tight or not. It is not tight. It is still you see in a more relaxed position. But okay. Then I hold it here. Yeah. And then. Then just a mild pressure. Yes. Oh, yeah, diagonally. Don't break the jaws. That <laughs> okay. You know, patient has to be comfortable. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then same thing. If I go there, I, I, I can do it with this my thumb also. Mm. <laughs> so it's more than the force in the neck. It is purely about your fingers. How and how but, much the uh, thing fingers feel. You have you have to first position the joints to be locked. Yes. So it happens. Yes, you have to first you have to keep it down and yeah. all the way yeah. to the maximum to the left or to the right. Yes. Okay. The, but the other girl, yeah. <laughs> when she did it, mm. it looked so uh, uh, easy. I, I think she just kept the hand like this yeah. and like this. Yeah. She did. Okay, yes. Of course, she held it like yes. this, but. Yeah. Yeah, so that you can learn, yes. that you can do, but in a gradual process when you're more confident. Yes. Yeah, I can do it. I don't have to keep it off the joints. I can just do it here. Yes. But the ideal way is that you distract the joints. You bring it so that you get all the joints open up. Mm. So here you feel it. Here you hold it. Yeah. But, but then you use this hand also, yes. you will have move this hand and move your support the neck with your palm, with your forearm. Yes. So now, yes, just a little diagonal force, just a little diagonal force. But then you, with, with which hand do I press? Now, because that hand can't be used, no, the right yes. is the only option you have. So, yes, I'm going to snap it like this time. Yes, yes. But, um, then where... Where do I press here? You know what I mean? Yes, I, just a gentle. The press can be here, press can be here, wherever you want to press. Okay, it doesn't okay. matter, but not too much on this side because then I get this jaw. Yes. So hold it, neck down, and then I... Yes. Just understand to rotate the neck first. Yes. Okay. So, you know, if you learn how to rotate the neck, that will keep coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's that is what you will have to get. I yes. can do it this way also. I'll do it here. I'll do it easy. I'll, I can do it here. Mm. Okay, and to the uh, right side. Mm. Uh, yes. Mm. Then I hold it to the next one to the right. Yes. Like this. Yeah, and just rotate the neck on the left now. And then rotate the neck. Yeah, bring your hand to rotate the neck. Bring your hand to rotate the neck. The neck has to be rotated. Oh, yes, okay. There's always to be the on the yes. inside. Yeah. And then the other side will go up here. Yeah. 
Okay, for me, okay, yes, but for me, yes, okay, I have to be, for me, I think I have to be more yeah, on the need, more than, yeah. and then I have more grip, yeah. and then here I can, uh, uh, like this is maximum out, Yes. and then I, a little bit pull with this, and press with this one. So, come here, I'll, I'll teach you. Uh, come here. You don't have to focus on how much, little bit or more or thing. First thing is to keep the ears close to the neck. Yes. First, learn to bring the neck here. Yes. First, begin. Bring the neck here. Use these two grip to bring the neck here. When you understand and learn this, that I can bring the neck here, then you can lock it in between wherever you feel the patient gets it. Okay. Yeah. Every, everybody's neck will be different. Sometimes you can't even bring the neck till here. Yes. Yes, you have to feel it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it can't tight, tight, tight. Yes. Yeah. And show me the back adjustment that I know is the easiest thing that you can do it. Would you want to go with your, uh, what did you want to do? The back adjustment, lower back. Lower back, uh, yeah. you have to put uh, the... No, the, the back, lower back. Yes. The side. Yes. The side one. No, no, the curve will be the curve will Oh, the, that one? Yeah. Okay, yes. The, uh, the, the underneath neck should be s s stretched all the way. Yes. This one goes underneath the... Would you, would you put it underneath yeah. here, like this? Yes, you lock the straight. Now, yes. now the leg is locked. Yes. Yeah. Okay, then did you pull the little bit. So you have to get is a diagonal angle. Yes. Back has to be a diagonal angle. So, so I can pull this one, uh, the arm a little bit. Yeah. Then it, it, it goes automatically, this goes a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, side length. Side. Yeah. Then I ask to cross the arms. Yeah. Then. Uh, uh, more, more, more character. Yes, keep the, mm -hmm. this one straight, this okay. one like this. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. And do the way you like it. You don't have to follow what I have to uh, I have to go with my arm here. Uh, I don't know where I put this arm. You just pick your arm. Yeah, I think like, like, the, like this. Yeah, bring it. Yes. You can now use this either. You can grip it. Yes. And do use your forearm to yes. push it. And, then, and you can grip your hands also. And then You can grip your hands also. Oh, okay. I can do like this. Yeah. And then with this I have pushed out. Yes. It was good? Yes, it was good for the I, I think I heard. Yes, okay. I also heard. But you could have done more also. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And now, you come at this side and show me it. Yeah, this side. This side. Yeah. 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 If I do something to you, you have to say. Okay, you have to stretch this one. Underneath one, you know, stretch. This one, yes. This one, you put underneath the knee. The foot, yes. Straight, the straight. This one on the knee. Is good enough? Yes, you go and do it from that side. Okay, could you cross your arms? Uh, I have to stand on this side. Yes. Now, yes. So, can you cross your arms like this? Okay, but, but now. If I go on that, I don't have enough arm length. So let's have wrong now. Yeah, you bend and you get your arm out. Bend. Firstly, he's not in comfortable position. Yes. The patient is not in the Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I didn't pull you. Oh, yes. Yes, also. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. A little bit like this. More, more you can pull, pull it more. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You can cross your arms. Uh -huh. Yes, okay, yes, now I think. Now your arm is not better. better, yes. Now bend this. Yes. Okay, so I can do like this. Yeah. And then I. Yeah. I Use it. Is it enough? Too much? Too yeah. much. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, now yes. thank you. So, the two lesson is good. Yes. Yeah. So, we'll see you again on day two lecture. Okay. Yeah.